video and so on, uh, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind it. Okay, so thumbs up if you don't mind uh, and think about it because you write uh, whatever it is, you create a document and then someone will come in and make changes, maybe delete some of your work and so on. So uh, is that something that you don't mind? All right, so Thomas says no. Well, most people don't. But um, in 2007, I was very eager. Uh, Sylvia, the question was, would you uh, mind if someone went into your document and started making changes without your permission? How would you feel about that? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. So Thomas says he would not like it. All right, so you wouldn't either. All right, so in 2007, I was uh, very keen on collaborative learning, and I thought this was a great idea. Why not? You know, why not, you know, um, allow other people to uh, make changes on my document? Maria doesn't like it either. And um, not only was I very passionate about this, I decided to teach it. So I was teaching others how to create open educational resources and without permission, yes, and edit each other's work, okay, without permission. And um, I found that not too many people are that open with their work, and many have ownership. They feel that, no. In any case, uh, as far as permission goes, with the wikis, you can always go back to history and find out who did it and tell them, please don't do it again. But the idea was to collaborate openly, collaborate openly um, together and make changes because the changes were going to uh, make the document even better. And the document was an open education resource, which means that it was a, a lesson in most cases. All right, so Thomas, you're for making suggestions at the bottom, but not actually going and doing it. Okay, so that's what wikis are basically about. Wikis are about collaborating and uh, sharing your work with the world. And as I said, not everyone is first of all willing to share their work because some people would like to uh, at least be given credit for what they do. Uh, some people would like to be paid for what they do. And I'm talking about uh, lesson plans, documents, and others just don't think that it's right for people to um, receive anything for free. Collaboration was also another point. Not everyone, as you notice, not everyone is ready to collaborate and work together because it turns out that some people feel that uh, they do more than others, that it's not equal, that, you know, if it's a book, someone may have added more than others. So sharing and collaborating is not a simple thing, but I think that uh, if we can let go of some of our hang-ups, it could be an ideal situation that we may enjoy. All right, so what we're going to do today is you're going to learn about three uh, wiki learning platforms. You're going to create an account on all three. You're going to create a page on all three. You're going to organize the headings on a specific topic in all three. You're going to write, at least begin, something in all three. At least introduce yourself. You're going to add multimedia today or uh, during the week. And you're going to share, all right, and collaborate. In some of the uh, wikis, 
you people have to ask for permission. They have to have accounts. Um, and in some, no. All right, wiki means quick. So we're going to do this very quickly just to see how fast it can be done. If there are any questions, feel free to add them to the chat. I will be checking the chat after. <laughs> okay, um, let's go on to the next slide. So the first thing is create an account. Creating an account is not easy for a lot of people. Sometimes it's the first really huge stumbling block, not only for teachers, but for students too. So keep in mind that creating an account may take more time than you expect. So be patient when it comes to creating an account. All right, these are the three wikis that we're going to be using. The first one is called Wikispaces, second one is PB Works, and the third one is Wiki Educator. And they're completely different. They have a different feel to it. After you create an account, um, you're going to decide which one you want to continue with. I'd like to add in the chat, I've shared the, uh, the document with you right now you're not able to uh, click on the links because they're not, but uh, let's um, go to the various sites that I've added and I'm going to share the links with you. But before I do that, I wanna share the document. Okay, so here's a link to the document. Okay, there's the link to the document. If you open up the document, you'll be able to get the three links. So as you've guessed, uh, this class is about your doing. Okay, I'm going to be talking, but first of all, you're going to do the following. You're going to create an account. How many of you have an account on one of these? It stays forever. I think I started Wikispaces in 2005, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you do. Hello, Mohammed. Good to see you. So Maria has an account in PB Works, so that saves you time. And um, Sylvia has tried Wikispaces, so I presume you have an account. Well, the rest of you, um, please create an account. if you don't already have one. And give me a thumbs up uh, once you do. The process shouldn't take too long, but as I said, creating accounts is a time-consuming process. It takes time unless you're good at it. And the system allows you to do it quickly, which in many cases it doesn't. Ah, uh, the links don't work. Oh, maybe they don't. You mean in the uh, PowerPoint? Let me check again. Maybe I didn't hyperlink them. Let me check to make sure. If not, I can share them with you. You're right. I didn't. I messed up. I didn't. All right, so let me share the, uh, the links with you. Okay, the one to Wikispaces is right here. Okay, so here's the one to Wikispaces. Okay, there you go. That's the Wikispaces. Uh, the second one. is to PB Works, which is pbworks, I believe, dot com. Okay, that's PB Works.
Okay, that's PB. Works and Wiki Educator is dot org. Uh, let me get the link to uh, Wiki Educator. Okay, that's to Wiki Educator. Oh, great. Okay, Mohammed, glad to see that. Very good. You've got a uh, page on Wiki Educator. That's great. All right, so we've got an example here of a Wiki Educator page, which is great. Okay, so let me see uh, PB Works. I'm not going to tell you my opinion at this time, but um, I will eventually. I'll tell you at the end what my choice is. I definitely have a preference, and it is one. Maybe some of you uh, have already guessed. Those of you who know me probably know. There's, I think that's PB Works. That's your wiki. So you're going to try to create an account on the other ones, okay, Muhammad? So try to create an account on Wikispaces and PBWorks. Okay, just, uh, just so that you can uh, share your final choice. Anybody have the link to PB Works? And then you can also share how long it takes you to create an account. I think that's important. If, if you could time how long it took you to create an account, because don't forget there's also, uh, you also generally have to confirm and that takes time. Oh, hello, James. Welcome. So James, um, that's the link. It says products. So uh, we can see here that, uh, well, I don't know if uh, PB works. That doesn't look right. Um, no, it's not, actually. Um, it's just that I'm using another... Uh, Okay, let's see if I can get PB Works. It's not that one. I think that's some kind of a business. Um, this is the PB Works. It's a wiki. Here's a sign-up page. I'll get the sign-up page for you to make life easier because I think it's kind of difficult on the uh, PB Works for some reason. Okay, so here it is. Here's the um, Maria. Okay, there's the uh, create an account. I think the PB Works has some things on it. It used to be completely free, but I think now it has some business end to it. I mean, these organizations have to make a living. I'm not blaming them, of course. It costs a lot of money for the servers and things. So, Thomas, do you have an account on... Um 
Okay, that's where you create an account. You know, even Wikimedia has a uh, a paid wiki for businesses, and that's how they make money. There used to be more wikis, but um, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe they went out of business because they were um, there used to be wet paint. I don't know if you've heard of wet paint. I think it's gone. I used to like it actually. Um, doesn't exist anymore. Or maybe it does. Uh, nope. No, there are other wet paint. It doesn't seem to be a wiki anymore. All right, just let me know in the chat if you managed to create three accounts. Oh, you have Sylvia. All right, that's great. So you don't have to have an account. Sylvia, you already have one. All right, so give me a thumbs up if you've created an account or if you have an account, which is the same thing for all three. So what I'm looking for are three accounts so that you can evaluate and tell us what your choice is. So three account. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, so Wiki Spaces, PB Works, and Wiki Educator. Okay, so I'm waiting for. Um, the first person. Well, I'm first because I had I had accounts, but uh, to create an account and the experience of creating an account is very important when we've got students to think of because we're going to have to support them, and um, they're not usually happy about creating accounts. I'm talking about uh, seniors, high school seniors, and um, college students. They're not too happy about creating accounts. They forget that they originally had to create an account on Facebook. They forget that. So for them to create an account is just a nuisance. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Thomas with an account, but it says um, not found. It says we can't find the page you're looking for. Usually this means you have clicked on a link that no longer goes anywhere. Try searching for the information you're looking for in the search box. Contact us. That's what I got, Thomas, from your page. So uh, there's something wrong there. I don't think that it's shareable. I think you shared something that is probably your personal page and I don't think that it's um, something that you're able to share. Right? Okay. All right. So just because you see it doesn't mean we see it. So it seems to be uh, your user and it says my, which means that it's only yours. It cannot be shared which is very important because that's one of the differences of Wikispaces, PBWorks, and WikiEducator. Okay, with WikiEducator, if you noticed, Mohammed simply added his user page and anybody can open it up. It's public. Okay, so if I click on Mohammed's page, I'm taken to his page and I see Mohammed, there's nothing there. So maybe you made a mistake in your link. Uh, you might have to check that. Because usually a user page on Wiki Educator is visible to everybody, to the world, which is another point here. Do you want your user page available to the whole world?
All right, very good, Taylor. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the first one to create three accounts. Is that correct? You created three accounts, and so did Sylvia. Good for you. All right, so we've got uh, almost the same time. The difference here is uh, two seconds. So that's very good. All right, next stage. Next stage is Wiki Spaces. All right, on Wiki Spaces, create a page. All right, so we're all going to go to Wiki Spaces. Okay, so let me take you on a tour to uh, Wiki Spaces. All right, so presumably you all have um, accounts. On your end, you're going to go there. All right. So uh, this will be viewed on, here we are, um, in the recordings on YouTube. All right. So I'm going to go into uh, sign in. Sign in is just at the top right. I'm going to sign in with my user password. Hope I remember it. I haven't been here for quite some time. Oh, I remembered. All right, I see that the page has changed. Okay, so I'm going to go into my wikis. Okay, my wikis, and I don't know if you can see this, but I've got a lot of wikis. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 wikis. That's quite a bit. Which one should I go into? I've got one with my name on it. I don't even know what that's about. So let me go into that. Something with my name on it. Oh, it looks like uh, it's something about it. It's a professional development page. Wow, I did a lot of work here. Okay, now as you notice, um, Wiki Spaces has a lot of really interesting uh, features. The first of which is uh, you have actions and navigation and you can edit everything. It's really really simple to use. You just click on edit at the top right and you get an editor and you can add anything here. Okay if you go into widget you can add a video, you can add links, you can add files, you can add a table. So actually the editor is quite rich, but because it's a wiki, uh, wiki spaces, you may find that the editor is not as good as, uh, say, the Moodle editor or um, a Google Drive editor. Okay, so you may find things a bit different, especially the widget. If you click on the widget, you get all kinds of things. The widget is not the normal widget. It has a table of contents, reference, anchor, RSS feed, a lot of things, but it also has video, education, calendar, spreadsheet, document, all kinds of resources that you can add. And they keep adding them because they keep improving. So a Wikispaces page well, it's quite simple. You have to remember to always save after you edit. Another thing is that only one person can edit at a time. Okay, you can have a lot of people editing at the same time, which is quite different from, say, uh, Google Drive. Okay, so that's uh, Wikispaces. Any questions about Wiki Spaces? Oh, great! Maria and Thomas have their own page. It says that it's restricted. Okay, Thomas. So what you can do is you have to. You see, you can. You don't have to collaborate. You can share your Wiki Spaces 
wiki with the world without allowing them to edit. Okay, but if you want them to edit, you have to allow them. And there are different kinds of permissions that you can give them. Okay, there's the help area. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to create a uh, profile page. Okay, a page about you. Your profile page. We talked about branding, or at least Nancy talked about branding and um, blogs. Well, wikis are a lot better for branding because wiki behaves more like a website than a blog does. Okay, it has a lot of features that are very, very useful if you want to have a website to uh, share with the world. And it's completely free, of course. Okay, so um, you will create a page about yourself. Okay, and you'll share that page in the uh, course. Remember, our course is blending and flipping with technology. And if you have the link, you're invited to add it. Okay, that's Wikispaces. Next is PB Works. Okay, so you're going to go into PB Works. Let's see if I can screen share now. Let's see if things. Uh, Nope, still a problem. Let's see, maybe I'll wait long enough. All right, so um, it's not sending it back. Oh, you forgot your password. Well, that's another thing. If you're having problems, that's, one of, that's the huge problem that students have. So let's see, PB works. Let me... I never remember mine either, so let's let's try to log in. Okay. Um, I don't even know which I have. I have logged in with a few um, a few of my uh, emails. I think I have a few emails on PB Works, and you have to remember which one you used. All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm not sure. Um, oh, boy, do I have a lot of them. I have things here that I never even knew about. My goodness, it's, it's like going back in history to see what I have here. Three years ago. Well, that's not that long with this email. I'm sure there's something even longer uh, with my other emails. I know I have more than one email for this. And it doesn't look very good. Okay, so if I go into profile, I get something here. All right, you don't have a page. Unless you create a page, you do not have a page, a wiki page. You have to create one of yourself. Okay, so on PB Works, I would do the same thing. I would create a, uh, a workspace and call it uh, your name. In other words, your profile. Let me add another email. I have no idea what emails I've added. Let's try another old email. I used to use Yahoo, but I stopped because there were a lot of spams. Looks like I added myself six years ago. 
So I was on PB Works six years ago. Six years ago. That's a long time. Okay, so I started PB Works six years ago. Um, oh, you do, Maria? That's because you only have one email, but I have a lot of emails. And for every university that I work at, I have another email. So Thomas, very good. You created, a, is that a, did you make it public? Let's see if we can all go into it. You know, some people love PB Works. They just love it. Yes, Thomas, I'm able to see it. There's nothing here, but I'm sure you will edit. We can also edit it together. That's what's good about it. Okay, excellent. All right, so you weren't able to do that with your wiki spaces, were you, Thomas? But you had no problems doing that with your PB works. You couldn't? Oh, maybe you have to. <laughs> maybe you have to log in. Uh, okay, I was logged in to PB Works. So maybe you have to be logged into PB Works to be able to see somebody else's uh, profile. Even though I don't think um, I was invited to Thomas's. Okay, so PB Works, play around with that. Okay, create a profile page. Um, add everything you can and let's see how that goes. Now to Wiki Educator. Okay, you all have accounts on Wiki Educator. It's really easy to add to your page. Uh, Mohammed, I'm not sure whether uh, I see you're not here anymore. I'm not sure whether you were able to see it, but um, and Taylor, James, sorry, James. Oh, it said welcome back. So you're back. That's great. All right, so Wiki Educator. Let's see what happens on Wiki Educator. Wiki Educator is easy to create an account, but it's creating an account. You log in. Once you create an account, you log in. Okay, there's my account. I used to be addicted to Wiki Educator, no more. And then I can go into my name at the top, and that's my username. Okay, so you can actually create a profile of yourself. Okay, there's a profile of me. Okay, I haven't been here for a while. But in order to create a page, you have to have an account on Wiki Educator. There are explanations on the side. So my username is uh, Nelly Muller. Okay, so my user is Nelly Muller. Okay, that's my user. So let's see, Thomas, what is that? Oh, that's uh, PB Works. Let's see, that brings up finally here. <laughs> Okay, now try uh, Wiki Educator. Let's see if you can share some of uh, your Wiki. If you have a nice page on Wiki Educator, I'm on a committee <laughs> where we choose the best Wiki Educator of the month, if you have a nice page. And um, we honor you by adding you to the page. Okay, so let me share um, that page with you. The page. On Wiki Educator. Okay, this it's called the um, Expo page and Pankaj. Okay, this is the page of the month, but let me get to the page where we add this. It's called an Expo page. I'm 
I'm not getting the links for some reason, so uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not getting the links because um, I'm using another Safari. I'm on a Mac, so I'm not able to share any links. I'm sorry. But, um, oh, you got one. Excellent. All right, so let's see uh, Thomas's page. Great. Okay, so what you do when you have a page like Thomas has, you have to go to edit on top. Okay, you click on edit and then anybody, including myself, if I'm in, I can edit. So let, let me, let's just do this together, okay? So I'm going to say, hello, Thomas. This is what I was talking about. Hello, Thomas. And welcome. Welcome to wiki educator okay so i just added to thomas's page he can delete it afterwards okay so thomas you should be getting an email saying that somebody has written on your page so you will be notified but in order to be notified you need to go into your account preferences at the top and make sure that you have your preferences set up okay so um, and how you want to be notified you also may need to uh, confirm your email. So at the top where it says preferences, that's where you go. Exactly, Thomas. <laughs> so, so far, okay, so far, that's what you're saying. Well, it's a Wikimedia, okay, which is quite different from the other wikis. So when you say the easiest to use, do you mean that uh, it was easiest to create an account? Do you mean that uh, it's easier to share? And you've seen my message. Yes, a lot easier to create. All right, okay. By the way, you can have your own uh, media wiki or Wikimedia, like uh, Wiki Educator and um, like others, uh, Wikimedia. All you need to do is you can download it for free and add it to your domain. Okay, so uh, this is something that you should keep in mind that you can do this you can actually download Wikimedia. It's called Media Wiki, actually. Um, you can download it for free. It's an open source. A lot of people don't know this, but if you like the feel of uh, Wiki Educator, you can have your own. Okay, and there it is. You can download it. It's easier than installing a Moodle. Oh, you're back. Okay, Maria, great. Um, so, Thomas, this is something that you can keep in mind. You can, if you have a domain, a domain is very cheap to get. Uh, you know, it could cost you, uh, and to host, it's just as cheap. Um, and you can upload, install a uh, Wikimedia on your domain and have a wiki of your own, which is really exciting. Just watch out for the spam. Oh, you have a domain. That's great. So you might, well, depending where your domain is hosted, uh, you could add Moodle and you can also add uh, Wikimedia. Oh, you have an educational domain. That's great. Okay, it's a lot easier to add a... Um, Wikimedia that is to add Moodle because you don't need anything for it. What about the rest? I'm only hearing, uh, how are you doing? Sylvia, have you tried to create an account on Wiki Educator and PB Works and Guadalupe? How are you doing? Let me know in the chat box. And I see we've got someone just came in. Let me know, Hamid, welcome. 
we're talking about three wikis, wiki spaces for um, instruction and learning, wiki spaces, PB Works, and Wiki Educator. Sylvia, because that's what you're used to. That's why I want you to try PB Works and then Wiki Educator. So create account in all three so that you give yourself a chance. Hello, Michelle. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. So glad you joined us. Michelle, I think you have an account on Wiki Educator. I'm not sure. But if you can create one on Wiki Spaces, the links are at the top. And uh, PB Works, if you don't already have. And the idea, of course, is to collaborate in such a way that we all benefit. I mean that you can download um, and install. If you go to Wikimedia, Thomas, you can download. You'll see download. You can download the uh, the wiki and have your own wiki. I had a wiki, but uh, for a while I loved it. All right, next you're going to create a page and you're going to work on your page. Now, how do you create a page on each of these? Wiki Spaces, PB Works, and Wiki Educator. Widgets? Where? Hello, Valentina. Well, again, if you go to um, Wikimedia and um, if you click on Media Wiki, okay, Media Wiki, okay, Thomas, I'm sorry, I'm not getting the links here, um, but if you go to Media Wiki, you will see Download, okay, on the left. It says Download Media Wiki. Um, uh, one point, and there is a sign for download. Let's see if I can copy the link and add it to the class. Okay, I'll try. I hope it works. Oh, there it is. It worked. Okay, there it is. You see, it's it's in the form of a. Uh, there it is. It's zipped. Okay, that's a zipped. But you can download, as I've added, you can download uh, Wiki media okay into your um, domain or into your hosting into the FTP where you host your domain all right okay so you create a page that's the idea to create a page and you're going to share these pages and where are you going to share them you're going to share them in the course so uh, let me get back to the course. The course is WizIQ, is on WizIQ. The name of the course is is Blending and Flipping with Technology. Okay, that's the name of the course. Let me get the uh, the link for you. Okay, so it's blending and flipping. Here's the link. Okay, my computer seems to be working better. So there's the link. That's right, Thomas. Exactly. And you can down. It says download. Okay, so <laughs> download, and you can add it to your uh, website. Okay, so that's the name of the course. So you're going to share the links, okay? Don't forget to do that. Are there any questions so far? Some of you have came late. You have done it. All right. Okay, so I see Maria, that's your um, domain. I clicked on it and I see a lovely, wow, that's lovely, Maria. That looks very nice. Excellent. 
So Maria has a website. Very good. Very impressive. It's a Joomla. Uh, I used to have a Joomla, but I stopped with a Joomla. Uh, don't ask me why. But it was a long story. But Joomlas are very nice. I had a Joomla social. Uh, and it costs money, by the way. Joomlas are not free, but there are other um, formats that are free. You didn't like it? I liked it very much. Okay, so you create a page on the wiki, and then you organize the headings. Now, this is really important for students because it allows them to organize their writing. And this is something that um, we want our students to do, and we want to be able to do ourselves. We want to have an organized page. And uh, wikis allow you to organize your pages. Moodle does not. Okay, uh, most course management systems do not, but uh, wikis do. Wikis allow you to organize your writing, your content, by creating headings. So you might want to do that. Okay, so you're going to organize your headings. And after you do that, you're going to write text and multimedia. You're going to write about yourself since you are going to have a wiki about you. Okay, so this is about you. You're going to write about yourself, your profile, and everything you've done. Uh, you're going to use text and multimedia. In other words, you're going to use audio, video, images, because the wikis allow you to do that. Okay, you can do that in all the three wikis. In Wikispaces, in uh, PBWorks, and in Wiki Educator. And then, of course, you're going to share. You're going to add all of this to the course. In the course, there it is, in the course feed on WizIQ. Okay, so we're talking about the course feed on WizIQ. They tell you it's free, Thomas, but it's not. Joomla is not free. Uh, you need to upgrade. You need to do all kinds of things, and it does cost at some point. Okay, next, after you share, you're going to collaborate. That means that you're going to allow people to edit. And don't be afraid. You can also you always delete what they write. And you can always edit what they write. But at least you get an idea of what they want to say. So it's not so bad if somebody writes on your page. And if they delete anything, you can always go to history, find out who did it, say no, 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 don't do it again. Or you can retrieve. You can retrieve everything. And it's so much easier than on Google Drive. Because on Google Drive, it's very hard to retrieve your work. So you retrieve by going to history. And it's so easy to do. Really easy to do. On a wiki. On some wikis, it's easier than on others. I see someone shared a link here. Thomas, what is that? Oh, that's your Joomla. Very nice. And it's on music. Lovely. Very nice. All right. After you collaborate, that's the end of the wiki. Okay, so... Now we're going to ask you, you've done all three since the uh, beginning of the session. Number one is Wikispaces. Number two is PBWorks. Number three is Wiki Educator. Okay, so we're going to have a vote. What 
wiki wait for the vote do you prefer okay so number one is wiki spaces number two is pb works and number three is wiki educator okay and then we'll discuss the why now and later in the course feed okay so there it is and let's see what you voted for i'm well i can't vote here i can only vote if i open up another uh, account so what do you vote for let's see of course you do sylvia and you're gonna have time <laughs> okay you'll have lots of time the whole week but for now let's see um wiki educator and uh wiki spaces and pb works all right so i see that we've got a tie here let me share this the results with you oh i see that uh wiki educator now has more how many times did you vote <laughs> you're not slow there's no such thing as being slow it's just different paces everybody has their own pace I know I'm just kidding all right so we've got uh, one more person to vote snail <laughs> snails are cute but they don't like salt right <laughs> I have some in the garden so I know okay so wiki educator came in first all right so we have talked about this is the end of the session what you will do for those of you who uh, came in late the idea is to create an account create a page organize headings write and use multimedia share collaborate on a wiki and there were three wikis wiki spaces pb works and wiki educator so what i expect to see are three links one for each about you which link maria um about you okay so please um share the links during the week in the course and um, you have the link to the course but let me add the course again this is the course this is where you will be adding it okay here's the link to the course okay so I'm looking forward to seeing and we're all looking forward because we're going to be collaborating on your pages the three wikis about yes so you can get the feel of which one you want you can always delete remember so just for now all three and and then you'll be able as, as uh, Sylvia says then you'll be in a better position to decide but right now you made your decision okay so you think that's it but let's see what happens after you work at it a bit more all right so I'd like to thank you for joining the session and I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend you've got one more day and I'll see you next week so thank you. Bye for now.